Uh oh. All right, much of brew time. Playing some four color as Conta friends in standard, and we'll give this a shot. Mana's a bit awkward at the moment, but improving. And we got a New Horizons to fix it. Teamer Energy. There's a Long Tusk Cub. Well, we get to kill Long Tusk Cub. Play Sanctum. Kill Cub. And pass the turn. Two Scavenger Grounds is a bit awkward. Island for our opponent, and nothing. Well, play the Swamp. New Horizons, the Swamp. And pass the turn. Maybe we should have New Horizons, the Scavenger Grounds. It depends on if this is Teamer Black. Yeah, it is. All right, so Scavenger Grounds is relevant in this matchup. Opponent has Chandra. Takes up, down to 18. One, two, three, four. Well, let's play Scavenger Grounds. Play Chandra. Take up for mana. And Gift to Paradise on the Scavenger Grounds. Pass the turn. See what our opponent has. There's a land. Takes up a braid. Pretty much a dead card. Hit Chandra. There's a Rogue Refiner. And opponent passes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, play the planes. Take up Chandra. Ooh, boy. I guess we gotta play Veraska. Play Veraska. Kill Rogue Refiner. And pass the turn. We do gotta make sure that Chandra doesn't ultimate. That is a way we can lose, even from this very good position. Hopefully our Chandra damage can take care of that. Or we could find an Ixalan's Binding or something. Takes up Chandra. Trying to decide what to redirect to. Goes with Veraska. Okay. Plays another Chandra. Well, now we don't got to worry about Chandra ultimate. Takes up. Going to kill Veraska. But then we just play two more Planeswalkers. And that's a pretty big game. So I feel like we're actually in pretty good shape. Surprisingly. Yep. Veraska down. Ether Hub. And a Long Tusk Cub. So I think plan is kill Long Tusk Cub, play Scavenger Grounds, play Chandra, keep the new Chandra, take up Chandra, redirect to Chandra, and then play Huatli, make a 3-3, pass the turn. Takes up Chandra. All right, gets to hit something. Hopefully this is the turn where we get Chandra off the battlefield. Glorybringer would be a bit annoying. All right, kills our Dino. And Whirler Virtuoso. All right, that can make some 1-1s. One Ooh, Johnny. Good God. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How do we want to do this? So many options. All right, let's take up Chandra for mana. Run out a Johnny, take up a Johnny, cast out Gideon, and then let's just cast out, get rid of Chandra, make a dinosaur, and pass the turn. If our opponent can kill our dinosaur, they can Thopter and kill one of our Planeswalkers of their choosing. Spends all their energy. Yep. Well, let's see. Do they have a removal spell? Also, Glorybringer is still a good option. All right, there's a removal spell. Let's see what Planeswalker they kill. Can't kill a Johnny. A Johnny's good. Gonna take down Chandra. All right. So Chandra down. Last card, Servant. We still have Sweepers to find. Uh, all right. Well, I think that's just game. So Fumigate the board. And this probably just does it. Make a Dinosaur. Take up a Johnny. Get a Gideon. Play a Gideon. Emblem the Gideon. Pass the turn. And, yeah, I think uh, I think we're getting there. And our opponent scoops it up. The Fumigate takes it down. Oh, boy. Teamer energy. Teamer black energy. Well, that went pretty well. Pretty, pretty well. So opponent's going to bring in the gates. Bring in, yeah, probably primarily the gates. How do we fight this? Let's go down Dovenbon in New Horizons. Go up Ixalan's Binding, Ixalan's Binding. And go down one Settle the Wreckage for an Abrade. 
and just trust that our planeswalkers can beat what our opponent's doing. I think that's the plan. Yeah, let's try it like that. Fight power with even more power. And all right, we'll give this a shot. Mana, predictably clunky, but we got some ways of dealing with our opponent's creatures. Spire bluff for our opponent. The biggest risk is we just get run over by a cub. That's what we'd like to avoid. Sanctum go. Cub? No cub. All right, no cub. No cub is good. Planes go. Well, we are going to need lands or a tune with ether. We haven't had search for his conta this match, unfortunately. Opponent. Nissa, steward of elements. Ugh. That is annoying. It probably means we're going to have to spend our ether hub mana to play this Gideon to have a threat. Opponent gets to start scrying. And passes. Well, play Ether Hub. Get down Gideon. Emblem Gideon. Pass the turn. Yeah, mana situation, bit sketchy. Ooh, opponent's gonna free roll. Rogue Refiner. Jeez, that's a combo. Alright. Attune with Ether. Gets a swamp. Plays a rootbound Craig. And another Rogue Refiner for our opponent. Come on, land. Evolving Wilds. Well, I think we're attacking Nissa. Opponent blocks. We are going to lose our Gideon, unfortunately. Play Evolving Wilds, pass the turn. Here goes our Gideon. Yep. Gideon down. Nissa still alive. Tune with Aether. Oh, we could use one of those. Our deck loves having Search on turn two. That is a huge thing for this deck. Another tune. Well, thankfully our opponent's not doing much. Scries with Nissa. Bottom, bottom. Well, crack of Alving Wilds. Grab a mountain. And let's cast out. There's the negates from the sideboard. Ugh, missing our land drops. This hand is not working out the way we hoped. This Nissa is causing all kinds of problems. Ether Hub. Off the Nissa. Opponent's still got five cards in hand. This Nissa has been incredibly problematic. There's a Scarab God. Opponent gets in with Rogue Refiner. Yeah, things are looking grim. Well, let's attune. Grab an island. Play the island. Ixalan's Binding. Oh boy, can we beat the Nissa? Nissa is a huge problem. Scarab God is also a huge problem. It gets back Rogue Refiner, draws a card. We do have two Fumigates. I can't believe how good this Nissa has been. <sighs> Alright, I guess we gotta do it this way. I do not like this at all, but since we have <sighs> two Fumigates and a Settle in hand... I feel like this is our only realistic plan. Opponent's going to get back the Rogue Refiner to get some early scry action. Yep. Draws a card. Gets a scry. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. Not feeling very good. There's an Ether Hub. Actually, if our opponent has a counter, if they drew into another counter, then we're just straight up dead. Play the Forest. Fumigate. Did they draw a negate? Uh, they did not. All right. So we continue to live for the time being. Scarab God coming back, of course, because that's what Scarab God does. And we don't have a permanent answer for it yet. Opponent's got massive 14 energy. Sky Sovereign. Rootbound Craig. And Whirler Virtuoso. Opponent passes. Mana is still super sketch. All right, pass the turn. Oddly, as rough as this has been, if we just top deck like Ixalan's Binding, we could still just win this game. Opponent's going to start thopping. Thopter, thopter. Makes a thopter. Makes a thopter. So I think what we're looking at, as bad as this sounds, is trying to settle the wreckage, but our opponent's going to get a million lands, which makes a Scarab God way more problematic there's a scarab god 
Yeah, this is a bad scenario. Cruise the Sky Sovereign. Opponent. Big attack. Well, let's settle ya. Enjoy getting every land out of your deck. And still having a Scarab God. Oh, settle. That is a painful settle. I mean, we don't really have a choice, but we most likely lose because of that. Another land. They get to get back Rogue Refiner. Well, let's attune. Get a Swamp. Fumigate. We're fighting as hard as we can. They just get back to Scarab God, though. There's a land. There's a Scarab God. Plays a Rogue Refiner. Can get back the other Rogue Refiner. <clears throat> Veraska. I mean, I think this is all we can do. Play Nicole Bolas. Take up and see how lucky we get. <sighs> Long Tusk Cub. Not great. Pass the turn. Yeah, I think we're in some serious troubles. Opponent. Gets back Rogue Refiner. Draws a card. Gets to start scrying with the Scarab God. Uh, well, this went about as bad as it could go for us, and we're just barely losing. Like, we've made a pretty good game out of it for this going incredibly poorly. Everything at Nikki B. Now, well, Chump Scarab God. The Cobolas down to two. Another Whirler, Virtuoso. So now I think it's Wrath or Bust. We draw land. Take up Nicobolas. Free Chandra. Well, that gets us a redraw for a Wrath. Can we live by killing Scarab God? We, we have one Fumigate left. So we could Chandra the Virtuoso, but then our opponent just gets it back. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could Veraska, Veraska Scarab God, Chandra, Whirler Virtuoso, Abrade something, but then I think we still die. Not seeing a way out, this Long Tusk Cub. So play Sun Petal Grove. Come on, Chandra, give us a Fumigate. It's a Chandra. And that does it. Yep. Well, oh boy. Whoo! Well, we ran slow and uh, fought the good fight, but it did not end up working out. All right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, search for his Kanto one time. Can we bring in the fourth Fumigate? Is it even worth it? We'd probably have to go down to Gideon. Maybe we just go down Settle for Fumigate. All right, let's try it like that. All right, come on, deck. <clears throat> all right, no search for his Kanta. We can pass the Cub Test, which is very important. And we're one land away from getting Gift of Paradise down. So we're going to try this. Although I'm slightly nervous that we just won't hit lands. Rootbound Craig for our opponent. Well, a tune is good. Let's attune. Grab a island. Grab an island. Play the island. Pass the turn. We'd like to be playing Gift of Paradise next turn, but we'll see what our opponent does. If it's a cub, we gotta just kill it, unfortunately. Opponent attunes. All right, that clears the way for us to play Gift of Paradise. Gets an island, plays the island, and passes. We'll play the planes, run out Gift of Paradise, and pass the turn. This also turns on Ixalan's Binding, we still do need to keep hitting our land drops, so opponent plays a mountain. And Rogue Refiner. Come on, land. Veraska. All right. I guess we just got to pass. Bad time to miss a land drop. That's for sure. There's an Ether Hub for our opponent. Gets in with Rogue Refiner. Yep. We will take it. Down to 20. Another Rogue Refiner. Well, uh, okay. Kill a Rogue Refiner. Man, now I wish we just Bindinged. Although we need our Scarab God answers. Opponent draws a card. We draw 
Hawatley. This is bad news. Bad, bad news. Very bad time to miss our land drops. Well, I guess this is how how it ends. Ugh. We knew it was a risk with this hand that we just never draw lands. And that's what's happening. Opponent plays Ether Hub. Gets in with Rogue Refiner. Down to 17. There's a Scarab God. Well, all right, all right, all right, all right. We get to keep playing. Ixalan's binding. Get rid of Scarab God. Play of Alving Wilds past the turn. We'll see. I mean, we got a Fumigate, and we have an insane amount of power in our hand. If we get to start casting stuff. Bonet gets in with Rogue Refiner. Yup. Down to 14. Crack of Alving Wilds. Grab a Swamp. Well, play Ether Hub. Veraska. I mean, our opponent probably has a bunch of counters, but eh, play Veraska. There's a negate. Yep. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, opponent's got the sideboard nuts. I will say. Now we might be in trouble. The fact that our opponent had both of those is pretty bad for us. Actually, extremely bad for us. Like it might just lose us the game. Hemp gets back a Rogue Refiner. You go, opponent. Get it all. There's an Ether Hub. Opponent gets in for a bunch. Yes, opponent. Down to five. And passes. Well, I mean, let's see if the sideboard nuts continue. Fumigate. Solves the problem temporarily. Pass the turn. Scarab God coming back. One, two, three, four, five. At least they can't activate Scarab God in the same turn they cast it yet. So we're not just dead dead. Chandra for our opponent. Plays a land. Takes up Chandra. Gets a Nissa. Plays the Nissa. Yikes. Does some scrying. Well, we will see. Opponent passes. Play Veraska, make a 2-2, pass the turn. Oh, boy. Feels like another one where we fought the good fight, but we're going to come up just a smidge short. If we hit a land there, we could have played Nicole Bolas, and that might have, despite how horrible this has been, that might have been enough. Scries with Nissa. Also puts Nissa, Nissa up to 6, which is ultimate mode, which is potential death mode. Leaves one on top. There's a glory bringer. Okay. A tune. Jeez, I'm going to be sad that we're going to lose this match. I feel like this is one of our good matchups, but it just has not worked out the way we needed. Takes up Chandra. Sky Sovereign can't cast it. Hits us. Down to six. And a Whirler Virtuoso. Just keeps getting better. What's our opponent doing with the glory bringer? Going at us, no exert. Hits us, down to two. Nissa, not super helpful. And that puts us to dead. Jeez, because of the thopters. Yeah. Oh, boy. Disappointing, disappointing way for that to go. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already, take a minute and click that subscribe button. It's a great way to support the channel for free, and you'll find the next video in the playlist right here.